In today's video, I'm making a roller mat for this Waterbox Peninsula Mini 15, and it actually also works for the 20, the 10, and a few other water boxes. So continue watching if you want to see the process and stay to the end to find out where you can get a hold of one of these roller mats for yourself. Welcome back to IC Live. My name is Mark. If y'all watched the last video, I made a roller mat for the Fluval Evo 13.5, and dang, I got a ton of interest and engagement from that. The most comments I've ever gotten, the most subscribers, and ultimately the most views. So people seem to really like it. And I've been getting asked to do a roller mat for almost every single all-in-one tank that exists. And I am going to start somewhere, and I'll try to get to as many as I can. So I'm gonna start with the Waterbox Peninsula 15 because I already have it. And luckily for those that have Waterbox Nanos, this will, mat will also work for the 10 cube, the 20 cube, and the 25 Peninsula, and maybe another one. So I'll get that confirmed as soon as we get this thing built. So let's get started. This one does not actually start with a drawing because I already did enough of those for the Fluval and I already know what I'm gonna make. I did end up producing the first model that I designed here and I intentionally made some changes just so I could try out some new possible features. Um, so this design is slightly different than the Fluval. It has a lower section, it's longer for more surface area for the mat. The hubs for the fleece have a slightly different way that they insert into the roller and they're much smaller. I wanted to make this overall more compact, especially because the overflow chamber for the water box here is smaller than the fluval. Enough of me babbling, let's jump into the design montage. The first print is all finished up. It was the basket and this thing turned out rough. I'm gonna actually have to spend a little bit of time cleaning this up because there's a lot of burrs on the inside that would go ahead and catch and snag the roller mat. However, this was such a long print. I mean, this was like a 14 hour print. So I don't wanna have to reprint it. I'm gonna have to actually make this one work so I gotta clean up the inside. But the side prints turned out really well. So this thing is not gonna need too much. And next up, I've gotta get the rods cut and I'm gonna use this, one of my new tools. This is the laser cutter, and let's go ahead and fire this up. Begin laser ignition sequence. Laser ignition sequence complete. So this is gonna be one of my first cuts with this laser, and I'm actually cutting these rods to size. I'm using the laser because it's gonna do a nice, super clean, crisp cut, as opposed to using a saw and having to kind of polish the ends when I'm done. So what I gotta do is I gotta line everything up, I gotta measure the laser height to make sure it's at the proper focal point, which you can't get a good video of right here. Yep. Looks like it has to go up a little bit, so I'm gonna bring it this bed plate up before I get this one started. It's already time to open light burn. So right here I make a box, I'm gonna cut along the box, which will go ahead and cut the rods the way I need them. But first off, I gotta make sure the frame is correct and looks like it's gonna work. Time to turn the laser on and start the cut. Begin laser ignition! All right, it definitely wasn't that spectacular, That is it for that cut. So let's go ahead and check this thing out and see how it did. 
I am brand new to laser cutting, so of course I didn't make it all the way through. But luckily it's going to leave a nice little cut line that I can just go ahead and snap these bad boys off. Here it is. I got most of the parts finished up. As you can see, the sides turned out pretty good, and they fit perfectly inside the basket. I didn't film it, but I did already test the basket, and the basket fits great in the tank. Now let's snap back to these rods. Here they are. Let's just go ahead and pop these bad boys off real quick. And snap nice and easy. And look at that really clean line. Next time, I'm going to go a little higher on the laser intensity, and I'm just going to cut right through them so I don't have to do the snap. While I was cleaning these up, I went ahead and printed the first test roller. Just want to see how this thing fits over the rods to make sure it rolls nice and smooth and it's the right size. However, the second print didn't turn out too hot. So obviously I can't use these rollers, but I can use the smaller parts like the knob and the gears and go ahead and attach those to the hubs of the fleece roller. I officially have everything I need. So now it is time for the assembly montage. Twelve seconds later. I am all done welding this thing up and it is basically complete. Now I just got to get the fleece roller on. But if you can see, here's the larger roll at the bottom. Here's the smaller rollers at the top. They all roll really well. This thing turned out killer. I really like the green too. Here is my new hubs. Like I said, they are much smaller. I'm using acrylic rods in the center. And I'm just going to go ahead and tape the fleece. And then these hubs sit in these little pockets. Now it's time to go ahead and cut the fleece roll to size and then do the most annoying part and roll it onto these little hubs. Now is the big moment. This thing is going in the tank. It's all ready. 
Similar to the Fluval design, it is just the basket and carriage, and it turned out so sweet looking. Little rough, but that's always expected for the first time around. The next version of this will be all cleaned up. I'm sliding this thing into the first overflow chamber, and this is where the filter sock would usually go, and it actually sits on top of those little pieces on the inside of this chamber that hold the filter sock bracket. Wow, that fits so snug. Perfect. All right, and here comes the big moment. Will it fit? Which way am I going to put it? Yeah, okay. Let's, let's flip it around maybe. Yeah. There we go. Just be gentle, very gentle, like a glove. It's in. Installed, done. Hard to tell right now, but it looks like it's working as intended. Only time will tell how well it is working, but luckily, just like the last video, I filmed this about three weeks ago. So, let's go ahead and fast forward. Three weeks later. The Peninsula Mini is looking sweet. This thing is really looking pretty good. Oh, looks like I left some fish food here on top of the light. Oh well, we'll get that cleaned up later. But dang, look at how green this is. I think this is a better representation. Couldn't quite see on the last video of with the Fluval of how much it's really picking out of the water. Um, and right here, you can kind of see, look at the particulates coming up as I roll this bad boy. I mean, this thing is killer. Uh, I mentioned it in the Fluval video, but I think it really is probably one of the best upgrades you can make to a nano tank. So I just rolled it. You can see how dirty the one part is, and you can see the clean filter. And the other part, look at these particulates. Ooh, looks like there might be a bristle worm in there. We'll roll that bad boy up into the roller. Everybody... You know, hates coming in contact with one of those inside of a filter sock. It's always brutal. So this project is nearly complete. Now it's time to take this current design and go ahead and clean it up and make it into a version that I can laser cut. This is the finished laser cut roller mat. This thing looks so clean and I do laser cutting because ultimately it takes multiple days to print out all these parts. But if I can switch certain parts to laser cutting, it's really fast. But either way, I love the end result. It just looks awesome. Super clear, super fine, looks professional, at least as professional as I can get it. And that is it. This project is a wrap. Thank you so much for staying to the end. And if you'd like to get your hands on one of these roller mats, I've always got two options. The first one is to go ahead and purchase a finished roller mat from me. Now, as I mentioned before, this is a prototype. So and there's 3D printed parts. So it'll ultimately have some minor flaws, hoping to make it more professional and clean in the near future. And I'm sure I'll also be making updates and improvements to this over time. I did confirm that this roller mat will fit the Cube 10, 20, the Peninsula 15, and 25 by checking out the technical specs online with Waterbox, and I also gave them a call and talked to one of their representatives who was able to confirm that the chamber is the same size. The second option is to go ahead and try to build this bad boy yourself. Just shoot me a message and I will provide the files. But please be patient, it can take me some time to go ahead and respond to everybody because I didn't expect, once again, this last roller mat to be so popular. Now I'm getting the final install done here, but as I'm pulling this bad boy out, I feel someone creep up behind me. Yeah. 
supposed to be eating that. You say you're trying to get a fish tank like your brother. Yeah. I totally agree. Well, you heard it. I heard it clear as day. He wants a fish tank. So Jet's getting a fish tank soon. Great excuse to go ahead and put one in his room. <laughs> Don't tell my wife. This won't be the last roller mat video because I'm going to be making them for some other tanks. So once again, leave in the comments which tank you would like me to make it for next. And if you liked what I'm doing here, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a ton. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you live in the next video.